of course, right back here tomorrow. Out with the horse and in with the goat. Millions of people celebrate the start of the new lunar year, giving red packets of money to each other, spending time with family, and looking forward. It's a traditional pastime in Asia. As Lunar New Year approaches, people line up here at Hong Kong's historic Temple Street Night Market to get their fortunes told. They want to know what's in store for the Year of the Goat. Master Joseph is a feng shui and destiny consultant who has been looking into the future for more than 20 years. Usually, they ask us what will be uh, this coming year. The love relationship, money, and also health conditions. For a personal reading, all he needs is your birthday and a long, hard look at your face and hands. Or even just a photo. U.S. President Barack Obama, Xi Jinping, David Cameron, the co-founder of Alibaba. Who do you think will have the luckiest year? This person is, he will have a better year, this one. His note is good because he's powerful. By the time you're 15 years old, his fortune based on his nose here. It seems that it will bring good luck this year for him. What about U.S. President Barack Obama? The one year of the ox. This year, they have a big conflict with the year of the goats. So that's why in this coming year, he will face many difficulties and problems. Is there anything that Obama can do to, to turn his luck the right way? Or put, put a booster in his office or snake in his office. Then can help him. A snake? A snake, yes. Why? Because snake is a good community with the ox. Because they're friends. Stay yes, closer. because these animals can help them off. The dozens of fortune tellers on this busy strip rely on an array of different techniques to peer into the future. As the night goes on, the cues grow. Some of the longest are the tarot readers. The cards shuffle and the deck laid out. It's time to pick your cards and your destiny. A few weeks down, this bird jumps straight in there, plucking a card from the pile. And of course, I couldn't leave without getting my own fortune told. Overall, from the face here, if you, your nose is good and beautiful, but your, your character is your quite stubborn. Sophia Yan, CNN, Hong Kong. Every year, the best in Hollywood are honored at the Academy Awards. Here's how the winners are chosen. There are about 6,000 Academy members. According to awards website Gold Derby, around 85% of the members vote each year using either a paper ballot or their secret online ID. During the nomination round, Academy members are instructed to pick five nominees for each of the categories that they've actually worked in, then rank them one to five. In most categories, a movie or person needs a certain number of first place votes for a nomination. When an entry gets at least 20% more first place votes than they need, the extra votes get passed on to whomever was marked number two on those ballots. This lets members vote for a clear front runner, without fearing their votes will be wasted. The best picture category is special. A movie must be the top choice on at least 5% of the ballots to get a nod, and up to 10 movies can be nominated. Then comes the final round of voting, for the winners. For most categories, it's pretty simple. Each Academy member votes for just one nominee. The nominee with the most votes wins, but it can take rounds of tallying to determine best picture. Again, members rank their choices. If one movie earns more than half of the first place votes, it wins automatically. If not, the film with the fewest first place votes is eliminated, and the second choice in those ballots gets the points. If no film has 50% of the total yet, that step is repeated, until there is a clear Oscar winner. Following the